Hey everybody, it's Alan with Exploring with the Smiths and welcome back to the studio. I'm going to bring you along with me today and we're going to do a planning session for our next rail trail adventure and it is going to be to Grand Lake St. Mary's here in Ohio, south of Lima, Ohio, which is south of Toledo and it's basically northwest Ohio getting over towards Indiana. It's approximately an hour and a half drive from our home here in Delaware, Ohio, out in the countryside. And we're gonna show you here the star. I'm gonna circle the star. It says Blackwing Shooting Center. That's one of our favorite places to go. But here is the location where we are headed up to Lake St. Mary's. So this is what I do. I will scope out areas. I will actually sit down like I did the first episode for season three and I will basically plan out the whole season's adventures. Now we've had our little COVID adventure, our little COVID thing going on here. So um, now a lot of the restaurants have been shut down. The things are opening up here in Ohio, kinda. We're not gonna get into that. But I did uh, uh, scope out this area. It's on my list of 13 places we have here on season three we're gonna go. And you can see here where I'm gonna head. And I've not been to St. Lake St. Mary's. Uh, so it was really a whole new area. And like I said on an earlier video, we are really looking to go into uncharted waters, going in places we've never been before and really getting into the nooks and the crannies of the state of Ohio and uh, exploring and, and you know discovering things we have not done yet. Now uh, we have not been out this way this Route 37 you see me tracing along the way here um, and coming out of Delaware that's one of the main routes coming in and it goes out past what's uh, East Liberty and um, you know the Bow Fountain area the um, Marysville area, a lot of Honda uh, production out there, Honda motorcycles, Honda cars. Uh, so we'll be, go past, we'll be going past some of the plants. Um, but it's a really peaceful ride. Now, the last time we went out this way, we were coming out to go to another rail trail trip with the kids when they were little. And that tells you how long ago this was because they're pretty well raised and out of the house. So it was nice coming this way again. We had not uh, uh, been out this way uh, probably 10 years, maybe 12 years. And it's so peaceful, the beautiful countryside, um, a lot of homesteaders out here. You know, people have gone out way out in the country and, and built beautiful little farms and they're very self-sufficient people and they're out here. So we're gonna come out here, we're gonna come up 30, uh, 37 runs right into Route 33 and we use Route 33 a lot uh, going southeast but uh, and coming up and we'll hit uh, uh, areas where we can go down and get down to Urbana and Springfield but you can see here we're gonna travel we're gonna go up we go past Indian Lake I was in Indian Lake a long long time ago when I was a young lad uh, with some friends you see we come up and we go out this way uh, we go through lots of awesome little towns Wapakoneta and we go through Wapakoneta excuse me now Wapakoneta is the home of Neil Armstrong and the Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum and I said to Carol uh, when we were researching this we're gonna have to uh, stop there sometime and do a video some winter time uh, but you can see here how much bigger Indian Lake is, or Lake Grand Lake St. Mary's from Indian Lake. Now, the claim to fame of these uh, both these lakes, like Buckeye Lake on east in East Columbus, is that they fed the canal system long, long ago, back in the 1800s. So they're relatively shallow. I know this lake has been dredged like Buckeye Lake to make it deeper uh, for the recreational boaters. 
Um, but this is kind of where we're headed. We're going to be coming into Route 33, coming in through St. Mary's, and the trail we're heading to, which is the Salina Coldwater Trail, obviously will be <laughs> Salina. So we're going to come through St. Mary's and we will scope it out. Now I'm going to zoom in. I'm zooming in here. And this is where I will come down here. For those of you who are new, um, you're not really tech savvy. You're not really using Google Maps. You know, this is my go-to, as I said in my last opening video. It's, uh, you know, it's an amazing tool. So let's go to our satellite view. And we'll come through here. We're going to come through. We're going to hit 29. At 29, we'll take us straight into Salina. Uh, but it shows you the size of the lake. You've got two towns on the lake. And um, we're going to come in. And you'll start to highlight all of the orange places to eat. Wendy's. So, if I can. Now, on our last video, we had to... We had a grin and bear. We had to go to DQ. It was good, but the hot dog, the chili dogs were cold. <laughs> Maybe a little lukewarm. We, we toughed our way through it, right? So, we're coming down. We're coming down. And this is kind of what I do. I'll start scoping out the area. Ooh, I see this. What's this over here? Um, ooh, it looks like some sort of a racetrack, right? I'm not sure what we're talking about here. Hopewell Grange. It's not really telling us what that is. Ah, we'll have to check that out. Um, oh, it's the fairgrounds. So they must do uh, harness racing like we do here in Delaware, Ohio. Uh, so it must be a, a big, uh, big event like uh, we have here in Delaware. Now, I'm looking at where we're coming in here, and I don't want to hit really any. Uh, ooh, we got Brew Nation. Oh, we got boots and bourbon. Now, I was checking this out a little bit earlier, and I thought, you know, let's find a place where we can look out over the water, right? Let's find a place where we're looking out over the water. We're going to hold this trip. Now, I don't put the, uh, the 13, 14 stops I have planned for this season in any order. It's all based on the weather. So, we'll say we'll go on a Saturday or Sunday in an upcoming week or so. I'll look for the weather a little bit out and I will say, hey, we're gonna have a beautiful sunny day. It's gonna be in the 80s and um, like it's coming up this weekend. And I'm thinking it'll be really nice to sit out on a patio overlooking the water. So that's kind of what I'm zeroing in on here, folks. Um, and one of the places that I found is the Bella's Italian Grill right up our alley it's really well rated uh, the reviews are good and it's right by the spillway now the spillway feeds water into the old canal system you can see here going into the old canal now back in the day they would have had some sort of a system where they would have uh, brought the boats over to this side of the lake probably along the shore where they had a tow path and then they would have uh, put them in a um, well, what they call a, uh, a system where they raise and lower the canal boat down to the correct level. Uh, a lock. Yes, a lock. So uh, this is what we're looking at. And we'll do lunch here at Bella's Italian Grill, I think. We've pretty well decided. Uh, we've pretty well penciled that in. And another nice thing about this spot is here, over here, Right caddy corner is the parking for the Salina Salina <laughs> uh, Coldwater Trail. So it's literally right across the street. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We'll be able to eat, overlook the lake, zip right across the way, park the car, unload the bikes, and get on the trail. It's a short trail. Um, early in the season like this, it's fine. We're gonna do, it's five miles to cold water, round trip 10 miles. Um, it's open farmland, however, there are tree, it's a tree-lined uh, bikeway. Um, and we can come back into town after the end of the ride and hit Dairy Queen. 
right? We got a Dairy Queen. Right? Where is Dairy Queen? I spotted a Dairy Queen. There's a McDonald's, Taco Bell. Um, there we go. There's our Dairy Queen, right? So we got our Dairy Queen. My wife loves to soft serve ice cream. So anytime I can fit that into a trip, we're good. Now, uh, the other thing we'll do also is like, I'm gonna plan the, the drive time and I did the calculation already on my uh, Google directions. And uh, like I said, at the onset, an hour and a half drive from our home. And uh, so we're looking at leaving 9, 9, 30. Uh, we'll get there right about lunchtime, made reservations for 11, 11, 30. Hit the trail, we typically do something light, like a small lunch sandwich, a salad, uh, something like that. I don't know, you'll have to watch the video. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do there. Uh, but we did check out the menu. Uh, the menu was a go. And if we really like this place, we're definitely gonna put it on the list, probably in another couple seasons and come back in and try another restaurant. Because um, the other one, it was the Boardwalk. Was it the Boardwalk here? Um, yeah, I think it was Boardwalk. Yeah, the Boardwalk Grill, which is overlooking the lake. Um, it was it was a close call. Uh, I thought Bella's might be the better first time. So I'm really excited. It's going to be another adventure. <laughs> we're literally going. We're going in cold. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the uh, the place we went last year uh, down by Denison, Ohio. I, the name escapes me of the trail. You'll have to look at look back and watch it. But it was in the a little, literally in the middle of nowhere. But it turned out to be an amazing adventure. We saw a huge facility where they produce uh, and, and process liquid natural gas. It was giant. It was huge. It was right off of the trail. Uh, you know, area of the state we've never been before. Like I said. And every time we go, we learn more. And that's actually where I stumbled onto the um, the, uh, the Coshocton trip we have planned this year, uh, which is gonna be checking out the canal boats, an actual real canal boat, which ties in with this historic canal town we're going to in Grand Lake St. Mary's. And if COVID has been released or lifted <laughs> and we can get on a canal boat ride, I have a, a restaurant we're going to there in Coshocton, something to look forward to. And also, we're going to go to the Wooly Pig Brewery. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. It's, it's an amazing story. Google it. Get on YouTube. Wooly Pig Brewery. It's got some great videos out there on the brewery. And you'll want to check it out if you're here in Ohio or a neighboring state where you want to pop in and check this brewery out. But that's something to look forward to here, not to the too distant future. It will not be a bike ride. It will be an exploration into the world of Coshocton, Ohio, which has a lot of history, a lot of Indian lore, a lot of canal history, and I am so looking forward to it. All right, guys, I wanted to show you where we're going, what we're doing next here on the channel this weekend. We've got it planned. It's in the books and I'm scoping the area, seeing what's around, what kind of places there are to do. And I've already stumbled on a Wapakoneta, the Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum. Ooh, that's going to have to go on the list this coming winter, I think. Uh, a chilly winter day, the roads aren't snow covered and we will Get in the car and we will head that way and bring you guys along for the ride to see what it's like i heard it's really good thanks for coming along today guys please hit like please hit subscribe and please share our videos we want the channel to grow we want to spread the news on all the fun things there are to do here in ohio and i bet if you're not living in ohio i bet there's all kinds of things in a state you grew up in that you've not experienced yet because I thought I'd seen it and done it all, right? I've lived here since I was four years old. Kentucky boys from Central Kentucky. But I'm telling you, 
I'm finding all kinds of things to do I had no idea we're here to do all right so keep moving forward keep looking ahead stay positive and by by God get out here get off your rear end get off your couch and get out here and explore and live a life to the fullest see you next time ciao